those films you didn't do. Yes. Uh, you didn't do them because you you didn't like them anymore, because you didn't have the money, because why? Uh, the project you well, it's mostly not exactly always related to money. Uh, I was I worked on one film that was literally uh, canceled on the Friday before the Monday we were to begin shooting, and uh, uh, I actually got paid in full, and I got into the Directors Guild as a result of that movie. But we didn't shoot one frame. Uh, there were other other projects, uh, uh, oh, it's so crazy. Uh, the producer was uh, a, a famous producer named Bert Schneider who, uh, who was part of BBS. He made Easy Rider and uh, Five Easy Pieces and you know, a lot of great movies. And uh, we, w we, were, we developed this picture for Paramount and he We, he just needed to meet with the head of the studio uh, to get the final go-ahead to, uh, to start production. We had developed the script uh, uh, with, uh, actually with three different writers and uh, it was ready to go and he just needed to have this meeting. And uh, the, produ the head of the studio and Bert had uh, kind of grown up together in the same area of New York and they had both been counselors at the same summer camp. And the picture didn't get made because they couldn't agree on whose office to meet in. <laughs> you can make a movie out of that. <laughs> When you talk about emotion uh, with your students, I started to think about the main character, uh, the main actor, uh, that When he chose Lauren for Velma, he chose because of emotion. He didn't rationalize um, about her work, uh, about her experience as actress. Uh, he just felt, and do you think that it's just an, uh, uh, like a character that he just made up, or is like, When someone does a casting, it's like that. It's like emotion. There is in, in, the, in the game. When you choose an actor or actress. Uh, I, I think that the choice of actors uh, is, is the central uh, choice that a director has to make. And uh, it, obviously, it, it, it has to come from, from intuition. It, it, uh, it has to come from... Uh, a feeling that this actor will be able to uh, become uh, uh, the character. And I actually believe that it's the reverse of that. Uh, what attracts me is the people, is the, the actors, is the person that the actor appears to be mm -hmm. to me. And uh, if I'm interested in that person, uh, then I don't, I don't ask the actor to become the character i ask the the character i ask the actor to let the character become the actor and uh it's i find that uh no matter how well written a, a script is and how well the characters are are created uh ultimately it becomes the actor and the actor is many characters and every actor is many characters and uh Uh, an interesting person who happens to be an actor has all these characters inside him, and so this combination of the of what's written on the on the page is really action. The character does something, and uh, the the person who does that is whoever you cast. That that, that becomes the character who who enacts these actions. Uh, I'd love to know if there's anything that you've changed in your approach to filmmaking across the years in terms of craft. Is there anything significant? Uh, that's a difficult question, but I, I, I think the first, one, first thing that comes to mind is when I began, uh, I, was, uh, I didn't have a lot of faith in myself, and, uh, and I felt that I needed uh, to plan everything. And so uh, on this very, uh, it was like 
you know, such a cheap production. We had, uh, we were staying in hotels, two persons in a room uh, at 50 cents each a night. And we were eating, at 10 below zero, we were eating uh, cold cheese sandwiches uh, for lunch. Uh, but what I did was I would stay up all night and make drawings and plan every, every shot, uh, not realizing at that time uh, that uh, still, still drawings uh, are, are not moving pictures. That, uh, <laughs> it, it, there's no way that you can plan for uh, what a movie is by making a still picture. And uh, so subsequently, uh, and also I, I was exhausted because I would stay up all night. So I, I learned, you know, not exactly immediately, but slowly uh, uh, to get a good night's sleep and I, I stopped making drawings. Just to, the, your next project? Uh, the, the next project is, uh, you know, usually my next project is, is, is the one that, that is my best movie. Uh, because I like Road to Nowhere so much, uh, I will say the next project is equal, <laughs> but maybe not the best. Uh, no, I'm very excited about it. It's, uh, it's a, uh, a kind of uh, uh, spy, uh, romantic spy thriller that happens also to be supernatural. And you have already started casting and everything? Uh, we, don't, we don't have uh, uh, a cast yet, except that uh, I have in my mind, uh, hopefully, to use uh, Shannon Sossaman again. And the script does exist already or not? The, the script has been uh, written. It's uh, a number of writers, one of whom is uh, in the audience, um, he's, uh, he used to be a movie star. You probably saw him in uh, a lot of Italian westerns. Uh, Leonard Manzella, who used to be Leonard Mann, and uh, he's sitting there looking at me with his camera or his telephone. I was wondering, hearing you describe the process that you just made this movie, for your next movie, would, do you, would do you want to continue working in that spontaneous way? Probably. Yes, yes, it's 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 uh, it's addictive. I think you know once once you kind of uh, because every director is a control freak and a lot of actors are control freaks and sometimes you have a conflict uh, because you want to control and they want to control. They don't want to give up control uh, and to work in a way where you say, okay, I'll give up control. But you have to as well. If, if, if there's a, something that happens in that process. Uh, I've always been interested in, in being surprised. Uh, I like accidents that happen on the set. Uh, and uh, so uh, it, 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 it's, it, it is addictive. You start to work in this way and, and I think it's impossible to, uh, to, to go back.